Hello, welcome to Nick and Tina Colors and Crafts. We are a husband and wife who adult color and do various crafts. Today I'm doing a coloring whip and chat. As you can see, I have all my stuff, at least I think it's all my stuff out here. A whip means work in progress, so get what you're working on and you can work along with me. I'm working in Whimsy Girl Celebrate Holidays and Festive Occasions Coloring Book by Anna Lynn. This is a buddy color I'm doing with Samantha Oswald. I will leave her channel in the description. She's an awesome lady. We're working on the, well, I call it the baby shower page. Okay. And these are Prismacolor watercolor pencils. They're 36 in the set. I love them. So I'm using them right now. I'm down to this much of my black. So I got an extender on it. There we go. I have uh, something to show you here. I could it's sticking out here. I might as well show it to you now. These are 12 glitter bubble paints that I thought I'd try. These are from the Dollarama here in Canada. They were four dollars. So let's. They kind of reminded me of stickles the way they were packaged. So, I don't know. I know they're, they won't compare to stickles, but I thought I'd give them a try. So, Nick can open those up for us. Okay. So, I'm using my black because obviously she's wearing black. These watercolor pencils are very good. 36 set. If I remember, I'll put them in the description. I got them way back, way back. When I first started coloring. Belly here. What I want to do with the glitter is I was thinking of doing the the bows and the the baby blocks here, letter blocks. But we'll see. Right now we're not streaming with the coloring because we uh, want to work on our diamond paintings. So I thought I'd do a color and chat for everybody so you're not missing out on the coloring. Now I want to say hello to all our new subscribers. Thank you. We appreciate it. And hope you like it here.
Samantha's done her page. So I need to hurry. It weighs on my mind, you know. So So tomorrow is our son Dylan's birthday. He's going to be 13, a teenager. Yeah. Tomorrow's stream will be talking all about him. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We appreciate it. I, we love participating in the Sparkle Fawn Diamond Painters. Everybody had to pick a, a charity. We picked St. Jude. And all together, our charities raised over a thousand, two thousand dollars. Wow! So here I have. Oh, Nick, can you go get me a paper towel? I have my Arteza water brush. Oh, it's already wet. Very good. Me and Nick will help me out if I need it. <laughs> I need him to get me something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty. Nick, I'm good this week. Okay, so you might hear the phone ring in the background. Life still goes on when I make videos. <laughs> Possibly Dylan, but he's in the shower, so. All right. Water, water coloring is one of my favorite things to do. If this were me, this lady, which I kind of did, made her out to be me, I'd be wearing black dress. <laughs> okay, this big area is going to be something It's going to be trouble. <laughs> And I don't have anything in the back here. I should have something in the back.
and I'm a big Hannah Lynn fan. Let me know if you like Hannah Lynn. Love Hannah Lynn. Tons of water, of course. I will be smoothing this out a little bit once it dries. I'm going to let that dry for now. I don't know what happened to the cap. Okay. I'm going to let that dry. And we're going to color... the baby blocks and then we're going to try our glitter. Uh, my prismas have a lot of beautiful blues so this lady's having a boy like I had boys. So I'm in my case I think I'm going to use powder blue because, and let's do, hmm, I'm going to do glitter for the B and glitter for the square around it, hopefully. This, so this is Prismacolor Powder Blue. I'm just going to straight color this in. Nick's going to open up the glitter for us. So, I kind of want to talk about some books. I have, hold on, I have two here. 
that I want to talk about today. These are two that I requested from the library. I wanted to bring books to the channel. And if you're interested in cross stitch, I have an unbagging of a printed cross stitch on the channel. If you're interested, okay. This is the first book. This is called Rosaline Palmer Takes the Cake by Alexis Hall. This is a new book. I only have it for a week from the library. I requested this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the back of the book, give you a little indication about what it's about here. Uh, hold on. Following the recipe is the key to a successful bake. Rosaline Palmer has always lived by those rules, well except for when she dropped out of college to raise her daughter. A meal. Now with a paycheck as useful as grease proof paper and a house crumbling faster than biscuits and tea, she's teetering on the edge of financial disaster. But there, but where there's a whisk, there's a way. And Rosaline has just landed a spot on the nation's most beloved baking show. Oh, awesome. I love these type of books. Love the foodie books. Winning, a, winning the prize money would give her daughter the life she deserves. And Rosaline is determined to stick to the instructions. However, more than collapsing trifles stand between Rosaline and sweet, sweet victory. Suave, well-educated, and parent-approved, Elaine Pope knows all the right moves to sweep her off her feet. But it's but it's shy electrician and Harry. No. But it's shy electrician Harry Hobson who makes Rosaline question her long-held beliefs about herself, her family, and her desires. Rosaline fears falling for Harry is a guaranteed re recipe for disaster. Yet, as the competition and the ovens heat up, Rosaline starts to realize the most delicious bakes come from the heart. So this is Rosaline Palmer Takes the Cake by Alexis Hall. I will try to leave a link in the description from Amazon to this book if you wish to purchase. I requested that book from the library, so I love foodie. Yeah, that's a romance, by the way. And I'll talk about the second one in a few minutes. Might not get all of it done today. I highly doubt it, but... At least it'll be something. And then for some reason, I feel more comfortable coloring on a video than I do on a stream. Live in front of people, I guess. And I hope you like this whip and chat anyway. I wanted to bring books into the channel. Now, I think I figured out how. <laughs> I'll be reading that this weekend. It's readathon weekend for me, so this group on Facebook, 
do readathons, uh, I think once a month, Shadow Lounge. I'll try to remember to link that too. A lot of our creators here are in it, like Robin and Shaleen. Okay, so I colored all this with blue. I might do shadowing and stuff, but we'll see how it looks at the end. Nick's just sitting here being quiet. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Thought I'd do some coloring for you today. I wanted to get some accomplished on this. So baby, baby, baby. All right, now we're going to take out our new glitter here. Uh, I think there's a blue one here. Yeah, right here. There's no, no label on it or anything. Um think there was a brand name somewhere. Uh, Artist Series. That's the brand name. And this is up from the Dollarama. So let me test it here on my paper towel before I... Oh yeah! Very nice. Okay. I don't know how glittery this is going to be, but... Let's just... Let's test it out here. Look. Oh, I forgot an area. Oh, what else is new? Ooh, very nice. Brings out the bee. Let me color the inside here. With the okay. That'll have to dry also. I like it. I like it so far. It's not very glittery, but I didn't expect it to be from the dollar store. But it brings out the letters a lot. I like it. Okay. After I do, whoa. There's a lot there. Might have went over the line a little bit, whatever. After this, I will chat about our second book. So if you like type of video, please let me know. I haven't done a whip and chat in a long time. Long time. And if you're a book lover, let me know too. Whoopsie. Still not very good at keeping things in the line. Okay. 
I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's a pretty good deal for for the Dollarama. Twelve of them. Look, look, dear. Oh, that's cool. It's all right. It's not you very. You get a little. You got your. Oh well, yeah. Okay, now I can outline the squares. Long this will take. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. Bubble. It's supposed to be bu it's bubble. It's bubble. Uh, gl glitter paint. So it would be bubble. Bubbly, I guess. So pop out that. It's already popping out at me. I'm <laughs> looking at it through the computer screen. And it's bubbly. It's not perfect, but. Just pulling the color from other spots here. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, I'm going in and out of the line, but oh well. This might take a while to dry, folks. So if anyone I'm wa well, that's watching is Canadian, you can head over to the Dollarama and Americans get Dollarama too, right? check it out. They do. Yeah. Okay, that's done. It's not perfect, guys, but it's is there? It's good. It's all right. I guess. I like the way I colored it on the inside with the powder blue, and then I added the the glitter. So it's bubble glitter. So I'm, my guess is. It's going to bubble out and stand bubble. out, I guess. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Alright. Um, you can't wash, or can't wash it off. It's washable too. Yeah, it's washable. It's washable glitter paint. Yeah. 
Okay, put that over here for now. Uh, let's see what we're going to do next. Because uh, I'm thinking I might want to do the ribbons. I don't know. We'll see. After I see this, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Sorry, I didn't put the lid on. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go for this little bag here. We'll do this bag. Um, gonna grab that powder blue. Gonna grab out my Prisma blue again. Um, got a lot of blues in the Prismas. I should have picked out all these before I started, but okay. all right. I got Caribbean Sea, the powder blue. And uh, Copenhagen blue. So let's and we'll talk about our second book that I got from the library. Before. This whipping chat's over. Okay. Now. I didn't want to do everything in glitter. Although, you know, I could, but, like, no. I won't do that. I was supposed to get this whip and chat up yesterday. But we're running late because it's freaking hot. <laughs> oh my god, it's hot in here. Our living room is pretty much our craft room. So. Our air conditioner is in the bedroom, so Nick don't want to move it. Although you could move it, but okay, here's the Copenhagen. Oh, the second book. Okay. This one is called Who is Maud Dixon by Alexandra Andrews. This is also a new one. i got to open it to read the synopsis. Okay. All she ever wanted was a different life. 
Florence Darrow is a low-level publishing employee who believes that she's destined to be a famous writer. When she stumbles onto a job as an assistant to the brilliant, enigmatic novelist known as Maud Dixon, whose true identity is a secret, it appears that the universe... Hold on. Universe is finally providing Florence's big chance. The arrangement seems perfect. Maud Dixon, whose real name Florence discovers is Helen Wilcox, can be prickly, but she but she is still pointed but she is full of pointed wisdom, not only on how to write, but how to live. Florence quickly falls under Helen's spell and eagerly accompanies her to Morocco, where Helen's new novel is set. Amid the colorful streets of Marrakesh and the windswept beaches of the coast, Florence's life... Hold on. Sorry, guys. Florence's life at last feels interesting enough to inspire a novel of her own. But when Florence wakes up in the hospital after a terrible car accident, with no memory of the previous night and no sign of Helen, she's tempted to take a shortcut. Instead of hiding in Helen's shadow, why not upgrade into Helen's life? Not to mention her best-selling synonym. Taunt, twisty, and viciously entertaining, Who is Maud Dixon? Dixon is a stylish psychological thriller about how far into the darkness you're willing to go to claim the life you wanted. Oh, sounds interesting. I love it. And this is Who is Maud Dixon by Alexandra Andrews. So this is a thriller, and then the, this one here is a romance. So that's, that's, they both sound good. I wanted to be a writer at one time. So I like books about writers. This is my um, blender pencil. So, whoop, oh, yeah, I'm dipping my finger in there again. So I'm hoping you like this whipping shot. Um, next week I'm hoping to bring you another one. So I love doing this one. Um, if I do any more on this page, you will see it on our Instagram page. It's in the description. It's our channel name, so it's easy. Um, if not, if I don't, if I'm not doing it this next week, I'll be doing another one. I'll be doing something else. But the way I color <laughs> so slow, I might be doing this one again next week. So thank you guys for watching. Please, I'll try to do Nick's heart here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye.